asked what verse in the Bible counters the verses that explicitly endorse and sanction slavery. And instead of getting any verse, I get something that you talked to Josh about, something that Christine said about you can't legislate people to follow morals. Well, first of all, neither of them are the Bible. Neither of them is a Bible verse. And Christine's wrong that you can't legislate people to follow morals. That's what the Bible does. That's what the Ten Commandments are. And while we so, don't legislate every bit of morality, we legislate morality all the time. Yeah, so I think, and I don't mean this in this way, but of course, but um, I, th I think it's more of a fundamentalist view of the Bible to look at it as a book like that, right? Like, well, what part of the book, you know, where it's got, it's like, well, there's, Wait, well, no, there's no, William, there's what's no, the topic of the debate? Does the Bible promote slavery? Sure. So I don't care what Josh says. I don't care what Christine says. I don't care about your interpretations. What does the Bible say about slavery? I read verses about slavery. You did not. Yeah, I don't. I just don't see how you can go through everything that's being talked about about slavery is negative in the Bible and say, well, it promotes it. No, it's it like, doesn't. No, everything about anything. no, you're wrong. Everything about slavery in the Bible is not negative. It is slaves obey your master, even the cruel ones. It doesn't say yeah. that there's anything. It doesn't even hint that there's anything wrong with slavery. It just says that your Hebrew slaves have to go free in six months, or sorry, six years, uh, or after six years. This is to to just read this and suggest the Bible is allowing slavery. It is legislating slavery. It is codifying it and saying you can do this and you can do this. It specifically says that they're property, that they don't have specific rights, that you won't be punished for things you do to them. And then to suggest that the Bible is saying slavery is bad is one of the most dishonest interpretations I've ever heard. Okay. Can you repeat that last part? Sorry, I was flipping the page. What was dishonest? To look at the Bible that's, that says that sanctions slavery that creates laws about slavery, that tells you who you can enslave, how much to pay for them, how you should treat them, how you can beat them, how, when you must let them go, how you can trick them into not letting them go. And then to, to look at all that and suggest that what the Bible is really saying is that slavery is bad is one of the most dishonest interpretations. It is, yeah. this is literally yeah, those things like were true, a, tr yeah. a Trumpism of yeah. fake news. If any of those things are true, I might agree with you. Here's the problem is the thing about whoa, whoa, whoa. you can be. Are you saying that the things I just said are true? To yeah, I, 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 I just want to make sure that are you saying that the things I the Bible doesn't tell you. Time. I'm going to go through saying? one at a time and you tell me what. Okay. When you say that the first that the Bible allows you to beat your servant, right? Um, that uh, even secular scholars will tell you like it's not saying, oh, you can just beat your servant except for, you know, and as long as they don't. What it's saying is that. Um, they had a corporal punishment back then where it's like, um, you know, uh, I watch old Kung Fu movies and, and the guys that are in Shaolin Temple, you know, the monks will go and just like hit them if they're trying to break line or whatever. Anyway, so what you have is here, what you have is, listen, uh, you're, listen, you're covering your face, you actually doesn't prove that the Bible promotes slavery when everything is. You don't need to prove anything. You are, well, being, you are making uh, an embarrassment allow, uh, of yourself have, right hey, now. Ahead, have, have some going. composure. Have I was quiet. Composure. I was quiet. I can't have help it that composure. I'm going to double face bomb when you Sir. say something ridiculous. Sir. I'm letting Sir. you continue. We do. You don't have to address.